Nopo and welcome to Do You Know Your Child. I'm Choni, your host. Face it, you are an imperfect parent. You have strengths and weaknesses as a family member. Recognize your abilities and vow to work on your weaknesses. Try to make realistic expectations for yourself, your spouse, and your kids. You don't have to have all the answers. Be forgiving of yourself. In our last show, our participants made some commitments. Let's see how well they're doing. Mom, you didn't buy lots of times, not for me, no. Now you have to what buy you monster buy? highs. I try to make her improve when the teacher informs me, me what she do, whether bad or good. So sometimes she listens, but sometimes she, sometimes she says, I'm always right. <laughs> I learned that not to eat lot of fried foods and I'm very thankful to Ma'am Choni that she, she told me that not to eat lots of fried foods is not good for our health and I got lots of changes that I could eat lots of green, food, green vegetables like beans but last time I never eat beans because I hate their taste. I would like to leave a message that we all miss you and love you. Are you studying well in Thailand? I would like to know that things and are you fine? And we all miss you and I wish you could come back soon. Try to make parenting a manageable job. Focus on the areas that need the most attention rather than trying to address everything all at once. Admit it when you are burned out. Take time out from parenting to do things that will make you happy as a person. Let's see which family we have today. I'm Sapna, Joshna's mom, and we got this wonderful opportunity to uh, go and participate in this uh, show, Do You Know a Child? So I'm really eager to participate in this show. And um, uh, from the, I have been watching this show and I really like this show because somehow I think uh, this show has been successful in bringing about the bond between the child and their parent and it's also very uh, in a way educative. Uh, it just uh, gives some parenting tips. This is my family members and this is my grandmother, this is my father, this is my mother, this is my small sister and this is my dear cousin sister. My hobby is to draw and read and these are my collections of the book and this one is known as my favorite storybooks. And as I head down to the North Mountain where she is free to be herself and use her powers. I dragged my mom to the show and I'm very, very excited to go to the show. I do hope uh, that by participating in the show, we might come closer. So we might discover things that we have not uh, discovered earlier between the two of us. Let's welcome our first participant, mom Sapna, and ask daughter Joshna later the same questions and tally their answers. Welcome to the show. And my first question as always is, do you know your child? Um, I think so. Yeah, and how many children do you have? Uh, I have two. Two? Yes. So tell me a little about your family. <coughs> uh, uh, I'm my husband and I have my mom living with me. Mm -hmm. And I have two daughters. One is Joshna Hassab, she is nine years old. Mm -hmm. And I have a small uh, daughter, she's just going to be one and a half. Oh, okay. <laughs> so why the gap? Uh, it just happened that way. We, I think it took it too long to decide for the second one. Oh, okay. The second Was the second one planned? Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, all right. Do you feel it's difficult to bring up two children who are who are who are that different, who are of different um, ages? Uh, I'm on the uh, different opinion. I feel it's easier to have children with uh, such gap because I think we can give more attention to the younger one. Yes, of course. So I think uh, as a parent, uh, I think we are doing our what you call uh, we are being. Um, giving the best to both the children. Otherwise, what I feel is if we have children with a very less gap, yeah. then I think we tend to forget about the elder one. Yeah, yeah, and attention is so. so divided. You can't focus on the younger one fully. Yes. Neither can you give the eldest, elder one any attention. Yeah. 
So I think that's, that's logic. Um, all right, have you watched the show before? Yeah, I have watched a couple of shows okay. and I like it. Thank you very much. Um, well, I'm going to explain to you the rules, uh, nevertheless. I have 10 questions with me here. I'm going to ask these 10 questions to you first, and then I'm going to ask these questions to your daughter. Yes. Now, after that, uh, I'm going to give you the score. Yes. All right, here's your first question. What is your child's favorite color? Mm, her favorite color has been pink. Uh, now it's, I think, changing to, to purple and now blue. Okay, pink, <laughs> purple, and blue, all right. Yes. Question number two, what does your child do before she goes to bed? Mm. Watch TV. Watch TV, okay. Mm. She, she turns on the TV and she goes to bed? She watched uh, actually TV serials with her grandmom, okay. and her grandmom would be watching, and that time only she would be all going off to sleep. Oh, okay, all right, yeah. all right. Question number three, who is the strictest parent um, from the two of you, from you and your husband, who's strict? I think it's me. And who's the lenient uh, one? My husband. Okay, all right. Um, question number four. Who is her favorite teacher? Her favorite teacher, she just uh, told me that her favorite teacher is her class teacher, Ma'am Sabina. Okay. And I asked her why. She said she's very kind. Oh, okay, all right. <laughs> question number five. How many aunts and uncles do your child have? Oh. Does your child have? So, so aunt and uncle in the sense, yeah. I'm going to be very particular with the word, aunts, your brothers and sisters, mm -hmm. and your husband's brothers and sisters. From my side, she has uh, five, one uncle and three, three, I mean, four aunts. Okay. And from her father's side, she has uh, three, uh, no, two uncles and one aunt. So five aunts and four uncles. Uh, yeah. Okay, all right, fine. <laughs> Who is your favorite aunt and why? Her favorite is um, my sister, elder to me. Mm -hmm. uh, her name is Susila. Mm -hmm. uh, she really likes her because she's very, I mean, kind, gentle, mm -hmm. and very, I mean, child-friendly, I guess. She's patient, probably. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> with all the experience with and the younger siblings. And she's very funny also. I see, okay. So. All right. Question number seven. Who is her best friend? Mm -hmm. Her best friend is Tenzin Nangden. Yang she same class? Class? Yeah, same class. Question number eight. What is your child most interested into right now? Uh, mostly she is interested in gaming, uh, video games. Okay. And she is also interested in uh, trying out uh, uh, designs, cutting out designs on uh, dolls. Oh, okay. Painting. I see. And she is also into writing lyrics of songs. All right. And A lot uh, of art artistic things. Uh, yeah. I she see. is like that. And she's also into painting. Okay, so. all right. Good for her. <laughs> Question number nine. Your child's favorite song, band, or singer? Anyone you can think of. If you remember her favorite song, that's fine. Uh, her favorite song, uh, actually, I don't know the song, but I think it's the Frozen uh, song. Oh, okay. You know, she's uh, really crazy about Frozen. <laughs> so. Me too. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Question number ten. Do you know her favorite singer, by the way? Uh, no, I don't okay, know. Okay, all right. Question number 10. When is your child's favorite time of the day? Is it in the morning, noon, after school, evening, at night? I think it's after school. After school. Why oh. does she like her uh, after school? She comes home, she uh, changes and then she relaxes and then she takes her snacks, spends some time with the TV, watch her see. favorite okay. cartoon shows. I think uh, that must be her favorite Okay, all right. Okay, you've answered all the 10 questions <laughs> now. Um, we're going to go and have your daughter come here. All right? Okay. okay. Welcome to the show, before anything. But um, before I move on with the questions, why don't we have your introduction? Okay? All right, go ahead. Hello, my name is Joshna Kale. I'm class 4 here. I study in Dr. Top Girls School and I'm nine years old. Okay, all right. You're in class four. What do you think is the best thing about being in class four? I like being in class four because I have lots of friends in class four. I see, okay, all right. And it's bigger than class three, right? <laughs> right? <Yes. laughs> you got promoted from class three to four, so of course you love it. Okay. Joshna, I asked your mom 10 questions about you. Now I'm going to ask these 10 questions to you. What is your favorite color? Pink and purple. Question number two. 
What do you do before you go to bed? I brush my teeth and then go to sleep. Okay. What do you do before you brush your teeth? I read some books. Okay, all right. You read, you brush your teeth and you go to bed. All right. Question number three. Who is the, from your mom and dad, who's strict? Mommy. Mom strict. And who's um, not like lenient? Who's he, it's your dad. Okay, all right. Yes. It's good you have a good balance of the strict parent and the lenient parent. Um, some of the children have both strict parents, which is really scary for the children. <laughs> some of the kids, they might think they're lucky, but they're not. They have both lenient parents, which is also not good. That means if you have really lenient parents, lenient means someone who's not strict, okay? Um, that would lead them to... They wouldn't have any discipline, right? They wouldn't have any structure in their lifestyle, which is not good. So you're lucky you have both a strict parent and a lenient parent. All right, who's your favorite teacher? My favorite teacher is Ma'am Sabina. Why do you like Ma'am Sabina? Because she teaches nicely. Okay, all right. Question number five. How many aunts and uncles do you have? I have... Let's count. From your mother's side, how many uncles do you have? One. One. From your father's side, how many uncles do you have? Three. You have three. Okay, all right. So you have four uncles then. All right. Then from your mom's side, how many sisters, I mean, how many aunts do you have? Four. Four. And from your uh, dad's side, how many aunts do you have? One. One. So five aunts and four uncles, right? Are you sure about the answer? Okay, all right. I know in our country, we call uncle and aunt to everybody. <laughs> your mom's friend is also your aunt. Your dad's friend is your uncle, right? But to the strict meaning, um, sticking to the strict meaning of the term, it would only mean to your mom's siblings, brothers and sisters, and to your dad's uh, brothers and sisters. Of course, so we're only going to use that. I know you'll have thousands of uncles and aunts in this country, right? I do too. All right. Question number six, who is your favorite aunt? Sushila. Sushila. Question number seven, who's your best friend? My best friend is Tenzin Yangjin. Okay. Question number eight, what are you most interested in right now? Read books. Read books. Anything else? Play with my sister. Okay, playing with your sister and? Drawing. Drawing. Okay, like drawing and? That's it? Yes. Okay, that's it. Fine. All right. Question number nine, what is your favorite song? Do you want to build a snowman? Okay. From which movie is it? Frozen. All right, Frozen. Very popular movie, right? I love that song. I love all the songs in that um, movie. So you like those songs. Uh, so what else do you like? You like? Do you know? Do you want to build a snowman? Then. Let it go. Let it go. Dun. Do you sing? Yes. yes. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Do you want to sing a song for me? No, you're too shy. All right, thanks. <laughs> Maybe right after the show's over, you can sing in my ears. <laughs> no, all right. That's still too much. Okay, all right, fine. I'll record Frozen, as you just, uh, Frozen songs, right? Okay. Question number 10, your last question. Um, when is your favorite time of the day? Is it in the morning? Is it at noon? Is it in the evening, right after school, at night? Night. What, um, what time of night like wait what do you do at night what, what do you like about the night time I like reading books with my mother mm -hmm. playing with my sister and feed my sister oh okay I always enjoyed feeding my younger ones also but yeah okay so you so is that after dinner or before dinner before dinner okay all right okay with this, you've answered all the 10 questions. Yay! Now we're going to go take a look at the scores. What is your child's favorite color? Purple. Purple. What does your child do before she goes to bed? Watch TV. Brush my teeth. From you and your husband. Who's the strict me? Mommy. Who is her favorite teacher? Ma'am Sabina. Ma'am Sabina. How many aunts and uncles do your child have? Five aunts. Four uncles. Four uncles. Five aunts. Who is your favorite aunt? Sushila. Sushila. Who is your best friend? Benzin Yangjin. Benzin Yangjin. What is your child most interested in do right now? Painting. Drawing. 
Your child's favorite song. Frozen song. Frozen. When is your child's favorite time of the day? After school. Night. Okay, I have the score with me, and your mom has scored. Eight out of ten. Yeah. Your mom wasn't able to answer the question for what do you do when you before you go to bed? She says uh, she said you watch TV, but you said you brush your teeth and read a book and then go to bed, right? So who's correct? Me. You're right. Right. <laughs> this is your show, right? You're right. <laughs> Mom's wrong. <laughs> okay. The other question was. Uh, um, when is your favorite time of the day? Your mom said you like the time of the day when you come right after school. You get to relax, you eat your snacks, you sit down, watch TV. But you said you like it in the evening when you're feeding your younger sister, uh, when you're just reading with your mom, right? So these were two different times, so I'm going to not give you a point for that. Looking at the score, do you have, as a mother or as a family member, do you have any, change, any changes that you want to make? I always wanted to spend more time with uh, Josna. Uh, since uh, the little one came, mm -hmm. I think I'm not giving her as much time as she deserves. Yeah. And she at times it, uh, does complain about her not being loved as much as the little one. But I want to tell her uh, that it's the same. Yeah, I love them both equally. And uh, when this little one grows bigger, uh, I think we'll have more time to spend together yeah. with Josna. Right now, you are independent. You can walk yourself, you can eat yourself, you can um, do your work yourself, right? But your little one can't, isn't it? Yeah. Which is why your mom has to be there. And actually, I also used to feel like that. When my mom used to spend more time with my younger sister, <laughs> I would complain saying, you don't love me and all that, but it is not true at all, isn't it? Yeah. So elder sisters have to understand that, that your younger ones need more attention from your parents. Of course. And I totally understand your mom. So your resolution, your commitment as the mom is to express to her that you express to her that you love her, yeah. um, and also give more attention. Try yeah. and give more attention. Yeah, I love her. <laughs> yes, of course. She's such a lovable child. Um, all right, Joshna, I have three things in here. These are commitments that um, your mom has written for you. Now um, I know you guys are perfect. You little ones are really perfect. But your parents want you to be more, um, they just want you to improve and keep go doing better. Right? So here are three th things that um, could change you into a better person, although you are good already. So I want you to pick one, and that will be your resolution. The push, your commitment. Spend lesser time playing video games. Oh, do you play a lot of video games? Yes. What's your favorite game? Dressing up. Dressing up, okay, all right. That's harmless. I, I know a lot of children these days, sadly people, even children her age, play really violent games on TV. And mm -hmm. even if it's not violent, they have a lot of um, cuss words, words that shouldn't, children shouldn't be hearing. So okay. at least she's playing dress up. <laughs> I mean, the worst thing that could happen is you can <laughs> not dress your character. <laughs> but I think... Although that's a really healthy game for you to play, healthier game for you to play, spending more than an hour in front of TV, Imbe? or whatever you call that. Is, that. is that Game Boy? Whatever. I don't know. I'm so outdated. <laughs> but any, like, if you stare onto a screen for more than an hour, your eye would be strained. Imbe? Eyes would be strained, and it would put too much pressure on your eyes, and it would just numb your brain. Imbe? And you can't use that brain to study or do anything good. So... Do you think you can do that? So, um, can I just give you maybe two hours a week games? Is that fine with you? Yeah. Do you think that's three. reasonable? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, can you just do two hours of video? Not at a time, huh? One hour maybe on, on a Saturday, one hour on a sen Sunday. Can you do that? Okay. All right. You have such a beautiful face. You don't want to um, ruin your eyes, right? So, you want to keep them healthy. Eat lo lots of carrots. And don't play too much video game. Topka. All right. Now that we've done with, we're done with that, we're gonna, we have come to with love. That's the segment. I'm going to have the mom read the letter first. Topka. So please go ahead. My 
my dear darling Joshna, I want you to know that you are very special to me. I am very lucky to have you in my life. You have filled our life with joy and happiness. Your daddy and I believe that you have been our lucky charm because ever since you were born, everything turned out right for us. Remember that I as well as your daddy will always be there to love, care and guide you. You have been a wonderful daughter. You are very kind and gentle towards animals, which I admire the most in you. Keep this part of you alive. You are intelligent and smart. Don't fear anything in life. Be strong and bold. And please forgive me for being tough on you sometimes. I am also sorry for not being able to give you as much time as I would like to. Hope you understand. Lastly, I would like to promise you a wonderful trip to some wonderful place someday. Love you, my sweetest baby, from mommy. Aww. Are you happy with the letter? Your mom promised to send you some to, to send you to a beautiful place. Where would you want to go? Shopping. Shopping. Where do you want to go? Shopping. I love shopping too. Gift shop. Gift shops. Okay. Any country that you want to go to in particular? Bangkok. Bangkok. It's a great place to shop, right? All right, Joshna, now your turn. Dear Mother, thank you for everything you have done for me. I am very thankful for to you. Thank you for giving me everything I want. I wish you could stay forever with me. With love, Joshna. Oh, all right. Are you feeling a little emotional? Because I... Are you feeling emotional? No. Is it, is your eye, eye, are your eyes just sparkling? All right. I've seen a lot of children these days who've come to the show. They're very emotionally, yeah. very mature. Because when I was their age, nothing made sense to me. <laughs> I don't even remember anything. So it just makes me so happy and glad that we, our generation, are raising up children who are emotionally intelligent. Which is really good. Right? Yes. Okay. All right. We've come to our favorite part of the show where I get to give you gifts. I mean, I get to give you gifts on behalf of Ministry of Education and on behalf of Titan for being an excellent guest on our show. And um, I want to thank you especially for bringing your mom here and for being such a lovely guest. I know you were, you were shy, but you still spoke up and you didn't make it boring for me or for your mom. It was so much fun. I had fun. Did you have fun? Yes. All right, good. Uh, one advice that I want to give you is try and talk a little more. Because when you talk more, you, um, I mean, it is very important to listen, which I think you're doing really well. Right? So listen more. And of course, talk a little more <laughs> than you're doing, it, doing right now so um, that you will open up newer, new windows to making friends and learning more about others. Yes. Okay, all right. With this, we've come to the end of the show. I also want to thank you for bringing your daughter thank here. You, you um, seem to me, you seem like you're concerned about not being able to give a lot of t yes. uh, time to your daughter. But like in the beginning, you explained the age yes. gap, you yeah. intended it which says a lot about you as a mom. You know what mo being a mother is. Mm -hmm. And you, your mom was smart to decide that your younger sister would be born during these uh, years and not earlier because she gave you eight years of mm -hmm. just constant love and attention, right? And now that she knows that you're independent and she, you're mature, she decided she'll have a younger one. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. Thank you so much. Thank love. you. Thank you so much. A child is influenced by so many things. The TV, neighbors, teachers, school, and million other things. He or she will go the way they find most attractive. As a parent, you have to make yourself the most attractive companion so your child opens up to you. If you are a joyous, intelligent, and wonderful person, he won't seek company anywhere else. For anything, he will come and ask you. The time a parent spends with a child is most important. Come back next week, and if you'd like to be a part of the show, or if you have any suggestions or feedback, please email us at parenting at bbs.bt. Thank you, and bye-bye.
Any brand, everywhere. Amongst all watches, Titan is the winner of the Red Dot Design Award, which is equivalent to the Oscar Award in the film world and holds the record of the slimmest watch in the world. Titan is the fifth largest watchmaker in the world, sold in 32 countries and has over 1,000 varieties catering to more than 135 million customers worldwide. Why don't you be one of them? Titan is now in Bhutan with Kushu Enterprise, the sole distributor. Visit us at Kelwang Building near Clock Tower in Thimpu. We have genuine Titan watches for all, from school-going children to office goers to armed force personnel to sportsmen with contemporary to classic designs. You can get your choice of watch at Titan. Get your Titan from Tashi Commercial Corporation in Penciling, Gelifu, Samdup Jonkar, Paro and Thimpu, Bhutan Distributor in Penciling, Choden Songkang in Mongar, Tsering Doji General Store in Tashigang, and Royal Bhutan Army Canteen in Thimpu. A Titan watch is not only a timepiece, but also a piece of jewellery with a sentimental value. Get a jewel for yourself and for your loved ones at MRP ranging from 450 to 25,000 Neutron. When you choose Titan, you are choosing a lifetime companion you can depend on every day and every season.